Welcome back everybody. We'll continue with group work two on page 19 of the user guide. We've just created our first pivot table and if you're a little bit concerned that your formatting isn't exactly as it is in the screenshot, it's because we didn't format the category column in the products table. But that's easily remedied if we just right click on the pivot table and select number format then we can just quickly update here. I'm just going to leave it as two decimal places. We can change the currency to your region settings and just click on OK. The only downside to doing this quick update directly on the pivot table is that if we remove the sales amount and then put it back in, you'll see that it reverts back. So the best way is to update or format the field in the data model but we'll be having a look at that a little bit later on in the exercise. So continuing on, we're now gonna have a look at hiding tables and or fields from the pivot table field list. So we've got the ability to see multiple tables and their associated fields, which we've had a look at, we can just expand and collapse. But sometimes, although having all of the tables on display in the field list is absolutely fantastic, it can be a bit cumbersome when you have lots and lots of tables. So for the end user, if they're using your data model, it can become a bit of a scroll fest and how they find their fields. Now, there's another handy little tool in the field list. For example, let's go deep into products and there's color. Let's say we're searching for color but say we've got 10, maybe 15 tables here. So for the end user, that might be quite cumbersome. So one way we can get around that, if we just click into the search field and type in color, oops, then we've got the American spelling of color without the U, and then we can just cancel out of that. So another fantastic little tool there. However, if we want to make it a little bit more efficient here, what we can do is go back to the data model window. So we'll go to power pivot and click on manage and we're in diagram view at the moment. So let's say that although our fields or our keys connecting the product table and the sales table, if you're never too sure about which fields are connecting the two tables together, all you have to do is hover over the table connector here can you see that the two fields are vaguely highlighted, the two product keys? If I do the same over on this side, we can see that customer key in both tables are highlighted. Now, it's highly unlikely that the end user is ever going to place the customer key on a pivot table, for example. So we can select it, right click and hide from client tools. Now it doesn't remove it, it's just faintly greyed out there and it's going to hide it from the pivot table field list. So if we continue on in that vein and I'm going to hide all of the fields that I don't think the end user are ever likely to, to need. Now I can do it in groups. So the first four, I'm going to highlight geography key, hold down my shift key and click on marital status and that will group select all of them right click and hide from client tools. All I want remaining is gender, marital status, occupation and yearly income. So I want gender, I want yearly income, number of children I don't want, so I'm going to right click and hide from client tools. So we've got gender, yearly income and occupation and then I don't want house owner or number of cars owned. So I'm using the shift key going to right click and hide from client tools. So let's just make sure we've got all the ones that we want. We have gender, yearly income, occupation, oh, marital status. I can just right click and unhide from client tools. So I've only got four that are going to appear in the pivot table field list. Let's just do the same for the products table. I'll just move sales table out the way and just expand this down so I can see all of my fields. All we want from products is category. So the first four, again, I'm holding the shift key down, hide from client tools. From safety stock level all the way down to class, 
right click hide from client tools we want model name remaining so description down to status right click hide from client tools we've got let's have a look i need the product name so right click and unhide so we should have five so we've got product name color model name subcategory and category so let's just take a look now at what that looks like in the pivot table field list oh a lot better actually what i can do is just click and drag and pull the pivot table field list out and just resize it so we can see that a little bit better so from customers we've only got these fields we'll scroll down products we've only got those ones left on display and we've left the sales table as is so a lot better for the end user just to be able to scroll through the fields that they are likely to want to report on or manipulate. I'll just drag that back in and I can resize this just by clicking and dragging down a little bit. Now just to demonstrate hiding a complete table I'm going to click on territories, right click and hide from client tools. You can see it's greyed out and if we return to group work 2 we can see in the field list that the territories table has completely disappeared. So another top tip there guys, I hope you found that enjoyable. That's brought us to the end of group work too and again it's over to you guys. You're going to have a look at the practice exercise next. So take a moment, pause the video and have a look at practice exercise too. There's a few questions there for you. So jot down your answers and the next video up will be the solutions video. Then we'll have a look at the recap of our objectives before we move on to group work three. So good luck, pause the video and I'll see you in the recap.